looks like I have a really, really bad self-tanning situation going on. This I look like a f***ed up drag queen at the moment. Horrendous, for real. Hello and welcome back my little darlings to another beauty video here on my channel. Yes indeed and I'm sorry because I am not very beautiful but you luckily can't see my hair from this angle but you can see my incredibly messy backdrop. I am very sorry for that, it will get better I promise you. So today is a beauty video of course and uh, with beauty in mind please tell me down below what you think of this camera setting because I have new lights, they are cold white so they are a little bit bluish and I have tried to fiddle with the camera white balance and I don't know if it looks natural or not, if it's too yellow, too green, too blue, too magenta you know. But let's not dwell on that because today we are gonna get ready together or you know rather plan our makeup together because that is what I like to do when I am gonna have a look for a certain occasion I like to you know plan it out in advance yes indeed enough about that let's press all of the buttons down below you know like subscribe and a notification icon with all notifications turned on before we jump straight into trying out our new year's makeup so if you want to you can pull out your own products sit with me you know get a little cozy swatch some stuff you know and really really get into that feeling of getting that look on point. So of course this look is you know a prototype look for New Year's. That is too much talking so let's just switch right over to the makeup application process. Yes, Today is New Year for most of you and all of you or most of you are gonna have to go to some kind of party. Maybe you're throwing it yourself you know or maybe a friend of yours and you want to look your you know very best but you also want it to last all night. Yes indeed, because everybody wants to look flawless at the party and everybody wants to stay fresh for as long as possible. Oh my god, something is really wrong. It actually looks like a bruise. Well, that is what foundation is for, so you know, let's just not dwell on that. Yes indeed. So my greatest tip for actually looking your very best for the longest is to have a good primer and good skincare, you know. I usually clean my face off with toners and that, that sort of stuff to get rid of dirt and grime so I can apply some new moisturizers and that sort of stuff. But today we are gonna try it out on a dirty face because a dirty face is what you end up with after a couple of hours of makeup wear. Yes indeed, you sweat a little bit, you know, you get air pollution trapped in your makeup you know yes indeed what i like to do is to you know feel your skin when it's dirty you know is it oily is it dry does it feel uh, unclean in some areas you know and then you have to look at your makeup you know to see if you have anything that is pore minimizing perhaps if you have very big pores at the end of the day you know or if you have very very oily skin something that is oil reducing or if you are very very dry something very very uh, moisturizing without being fatty if you know what I mean because fat and oils doesn't equal moisture uh, in some cases you know so that is that today for example feel that my skin lately have been very very oily overall I look like a train wreck so my favorite primer to use for that is actually the Eucerin Dermo Purifier. Yes indeed. It's hydrating care for blemish prone skin so while it hydrates it's also reducing oils and that sort of stuff you know. But if you have big pores you know you can mix this up with a little bit of pore minimizing primer that contains dimethicone. Dimethicone is silicone that smooths the skin. And I am a very, you know. I hate being oily and sticky and gooey on my fingers, so I use a brush to apply my primer and my moisturizers. Yes, indeed, because I do not like getting sticky, icky, icky, sticky on my fingers. Yes, indeed, I do not enjoy that for five cents. Yes, indeed, primer is on, or you know, moisturizer. I usually use moisturizer as primer because I uh, haven't found a primer yet that works for me. But uh, now it's time for foundation, and I do have a, a several 
I do have several different foundations I like to use at the moment. Or you know, I have two because I cleaned everything else out and I did actually order some new makeup but I want to try those out in a separate video with you my darlings that comes next year, you know, in 2019. So I have two foundations right here. This one is the NYX Total Control. Control. NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. It's very light for me, but it's winter, so I might manage that. And I have this W7 HD 12 hour wear foundation. And I am not sure which one I should use, so I will actually apply the NYX one on this side and the makeup revolution. No. The W7 High Definition 12 hour wear foundation on this side. Yes, baby. And while I apply these foundations, I will actually talk to you about next year and my channel in general. As you might have noticed, this year I have tried some new stuff. I have tried to up my content a little bit, you know, with editing and that sort of stuff, you know. And I do hope you enjoy that. Yes indeed, because I certainly do enjoy to make videos that are a little bit more interesting, you know, a little bit more funny. I just can't with the serious beauty guru thing. It just isn't for me. I like to mix in humor and I like to mix in some, you know, dirty words here and there. That is not all. I have also updated my thumbnail system. I do color code my thumbnails as of now, uh, where blue stands for miscellaneous content and green for gaming content content and uh, pink for uh, beauty content. So I will actually update my channel header for you my darlings and for me you know so it gets more explanatory what I do you know and that sort of stuff and this looks ridiculous at the moment. This foundation is really really pale. I mean uh, does it match my neck? I do not know. Does it match my neck? I have a feeling it doesn't match my neck but still. I do not know if I want to use this because while the finish is really really nice this foundation tends to you know separate and cake up on my face you know during the evening so I will compare it to this W7 one instead you know and I did take too much foundation on the brush I usually use two pumps on my entire face and I can immediately tell you that I see a difference this W7 foundation matches my skin tone in my face but I do not know if it matches my neck so we will just have to wait and say I do not know if this video will make a lot of sense to you but I hope it will so for the foundation I say right now that I should probably use this W7 HD foundation because it's truer to my neck color then the total control drop is on this side I have blended down the foundation on the neck on this side and I haven't done that as much on this side and I do think that we will just have to see how it oxidizes, but this is really, really dry. This one is really, really dewy and nice, which I can set with powder without looking too cakey, you know. And uh, I do tend to use a lot of powders, so we will just have to wait and see. For concealers, I just have two concealers at the moment. The first one is this Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Erasing Concealer. It's really, really good. It's really, really light. It doesn't crease, but it's not very full coverage, you know, so it doesn't cover up any dark circles to the goods, you know, when I want that full coverage under my eyes. Under my eyes under my eyes. The other ones are those from Makeup Revolution. It's the Conceal and Define Concealer. So Makeup Revolution on that side, maybe lean on the other side. And let's blend that out. How uh, are you planning to celebrate uh, New Year's, my darlings? Please tell me down below. I'm very interested. For the concealers, I actually do think I will use a mixture of the Maybelline one and the Revolution Conceal on the fine. And now it's time to powder. Yes indeed. And I do have two powders. And I also have three pressed powders. So the first one that is a pressed powder is this from Technique. It's their super fine matte pressed powder in the color ochre. This is too yellowy for me so I will not use that. Those two are from Lidl. Really really gorgeous powders you know. Really mattifying. Really flawless you know. So I think I will use this as a finishing powder. Yes indeed. But those are not for now. I will not set my under eyes with those. But for under eyes I will use W7 banana powder on one side and plain and old and simple H&M baby powder 
No, it's not H&M baby powder. It has been an H&M setting powder on this little component before, but now it's just plain and old and simple baby powder. And baby powder is really, really good, you know, for those who are really, really pale. Those have the same fine milk consistency as a setting powder. However, it can flash back really hard if you are really unlucky. So just be prepared for that. But if your setting powder is empty on New Year's and you have baby powder, powder at home for some reason you know maybe you have a baby that needs some powdering sometimes or you know you just have it because you have it you know because sometimes you need to powder your baby butt without even having a baby so you know that will work just fine yes indeed baby powder is actually really really nice so i will start with this side right here which is the revolution and nyx control drop foundation and I will use the banana powder on this side and W7s do actually have a really 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 lovely banana powder because it is not too yellowy it melts into the skin real nicely you know contains liquidum paraffinum which makes it really really nice and blendable and I will use that to set my concealer now that is powder and done and now I will go over to the baby powder Yes indeed. And baby powder is really really finely milled. You have it everywhere. It will settle into every fine line you know. But if you use a powder puff like I am doing right now. You can just pat that and blend that into your foundation. And it will just look flawless and fabulous all day long. Now this will have to bake for a couple of moments. And while it bakes I can actually start to go through my highlighters and my eyeshadows because I do have a few eyeshadows and highlighters. So let's start with eyeshadows because that is what I do put on before highlighter and I do have two different eye palettes. Yes indeed I do have one and it's this really big A Magic 88 palette from Passion of Stockholm. Yes indeed it do have a lot of lovely colors indeed. I did purchase this for 10 euros I do believe. The colors are not a very Oh, not a very, I'm from Los Italia and I suddenly spoke a different language. These colors are not very high in pigment, but they are blendable, they are good beginner shadows. But I have actually upgraded my game without your knowledge, just of yet, you will just have to wait for a whole week. Yes, indeed. But I can really recommend this palette from Passion of Stockholm, because it's a really, really good beginner palette if you want to, you know, start out with color, because I do have a lot of different colors. And then I have this fake palette, I might add, I need to say that, take me on vacation one. Those colors are actually really, really nice indeed. I do use this from time to time. You know. But it's not very New Year's Eve, isn't it? This is more, you know, like October -y, cozy pumpkin patch latte with uh, some berries on top and uh, that sort of stuff. So I will not use this one, I can tell you that. So I will, of course, use this one instead. But then I have a whole array of loose shadows and it Something is itching all over my face and I do not know what that is. Oh my god, I just lost all of my eyelashes. Why did I do that? Well, I do have a lot of loose shadows anyway. I do have H&M shadows to the gods. They had a sale this summer. Three for one, I do believe. They do have some really, really lovely shades. Like, for instance, this pure white shadow. It's really, really nice. And I also have this really gorgeous purpley kind of graphite color you will not say shit with this swatching today my darlings because i can't swatch for shit today but it's new years and i want to sparkle and in this palette right here i do have a lot of different colors I will probably use these grey colors right up here also, you know, probably that really light one right there, you know, I do not have my color switcher today for some reason. But let's move into my eyes, shall we? Hello and welcome to my first. Yes, indeed. I will actually start to go in with some light grey shimmery shades. I do know that you should not put light shimmery shades anywhere near your crease but uh, I will do that today and I will just blend this into my crease with this horrendous little brush that I own and this is not even a um, eyeshadow brush it's a watercolor brush yes indeed 
Yes, I did. I do believe that is sultry enough for me. As of now, I just can't decide what kind of eye look I will do. But uh, now I got that really nice, sheer, shiny color going on, which is lovely for me. I do think that this is a really good way of actually making sure that your makeup is good for the evening, you know. You know, sitting down, playing with your makeup, trying out different colors. I mean, this purple color right here, this uh, like almost royal purple color is a really, really lovely color, I mean. But what can I do with this color? This little royal purple one is really, really lovely indeed. I do love this purple very much indeed. That is actually a really nice purple indeed. Not Maybe not the most intense pigment in this palette, but it's totally sufficient, you know. And I should not put darker color ons first, I know. But uh, I did that, and now I would have to pay for it. I do enjoy my new beauty studio very much, I'm just hating this backdrop really much. But this royally purple color is probably not the best New Year's color, you know. But still, I will darken that up right now, with that way past midnight. Yes, indeed. <coughs> yes, indeed. Feeling so sultry right now. That is actually really, really pretty. I will take this little flat brush and I will take a lighter pink color and I will plop that right from here and backwards like that, you know. And that did not turn out as I expected it to. Well, you know, it's a good thing I will not do this on New Year's because this looks horrendous at the moment. I do believe that this pinkish kind of gradient that we are having on my eye, you know, we are having it going on. We are having on my eye now. I have going on on my eye at the moment. It's starting to take shape really nicely. I want to try to, you know, intensify that ombre gradient effect a little bit, you know, just a little teensy, tiny, teensy, wincy, pointy, bouncy bit, you know. So I will actually take that silvery color I used from the beginning and I will just plop that all over my lid right now to get that really sparkly effect. Yes indeed. I'm doing it like a cut crease but I'm not actually cutting my crease with something. I just leave that space blank without putting any products on it because uh, I can do that for some reason. But uh, reason? But I can't do a goddamn ordinary cut case, which is really, really strange indeed. Now I have this silvery, shimmery shit going on. And I will use a purplish, pinkish, sparkly color to smoke my under eye. And I'm using a completely wrong brush for that. Yes, indeed. That eye doesn't actually look too bad. Since I just have one eye on, I can just wipe this bake away real quickly because now it has been sitting on my face for ages and it will start to look crazy as shit if I don't brush it away. Now I want to do a little bit, you know, more not this kind of sexy, sultry, sparkly kind of, uh, you know, cut crazy thing thingy that I have going on on this side of my face. I want to do a more, you know, look. But I will start with this white bony color of course and I will put that all over my crease. Because I want you know some kind of spotlighty thing going on on this eye. It looks like garbage already. Because I have that shimmery silver base which I'm not enjoying at the moment because that was not what I planned. Oh my god this looks really ridiculous. This eye looks like Bow. And that I use like, hello stone or how are you? I will just dip into to some completely ordinary black colors. Yes indeed. And this brush didn't pick up any pigment for shit. It looks like somebody took a poo on my face right now. I have actually all the new eyeshadow brushes as well my darlings. From Wish. They have not arrived yet. That is why I'm waiting with that first impressions video of my new makeup. Because I really want to try those new makeup brushes out as well. I also ordered a new foundation brush. Or you know a big fat dense brush. It looked really really nice indeed. And this black is really getting it going with those shimmery pigments. It does look kinda patchy right now. Now this eye is starting to take shape nicely. But it's, it, I do feel it's too dark right now. So I will try to 
move in with some lighter shades as well. While also trying to intensify this black. I do not own a good black shadow, I need to purchase that. It's starting to look like something from the black swan and I'm not enjoying that. Because that is not what I had in mind. I do believe that this needs something more popping, you know, so I will actually use some um, really dark blue shades right here. Just tap that excess off. Yes, indeed. While we're at the blue colors, I will actually dip into a kind of turquoise, very light, uh, you know, Pacific tropical island blue. And I will gently tap that on the inner corner of my eye, you know. Let's try to blend that together with some black and some blue. Because I do not want that harsh line right there. And I just do it like this. And everything is just powdering away from there, but I got a really nice gradient going right there, I do believe. Maybe like a stormy blue sky that is lit by fireworks, because, uh, you know, it's New Year's. And I can't do firework makeup, I tried, it looked sh like shit. So that is why I'm not doing anything extravagant today. I do have two eye looks going on at the moment, excuse my hair. And um, I do feel like this eye look right here is a... Tiny, tiny bit too heavy for my eyes, you know. It's really, really dark. It's really, you know, not not a cute look actually. And this smoking action on my under eye is not going very well in this. I will try to smoke it with some really, really bright blue, 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 bright blue pigments, you know, just to get that eye-opening effect. Yes, indeed. And let's put some highlighter in that inner corner as well. Yes, indeed. I do think that I will go for something more purpley because this looks too goddamn hookery for me. And this looks more, you know, sparkly, festive, you know. And this just looks like a stormy ocean. It, it's, it is really pretty if you are, you know, ignoring the fact that I used a too bright of a blue under eyeshadow, but still. That is why we are sitting here right now, testing everything out, you know, so it do work for us in the future. 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 Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my darlings. I do. We what? <laughs> I do believe we just have a few steps left to try out, which is highlighter and contour, and I used to have one eyeshadow palette, highlighting palette, which is from WV7, it's their prismatic 3D highlighting palette for face and eyes, it's a dupe for a holographic palette, which I can't remember which brand it is. Oh my god, that highlighter is amazing me every time I put it on. Oh my god, I'm using that greenish color right there and it's really, really intense, my darlings. But I do not think that green is going very well with that purple color I have on my eye right there. So let's do some right up here, you know, with some purplish highlighter. Oh, I do get that wet look right away. It's a really, really nice glowy highlighter. It is a little bit shocky, you know, but uh, it is really gorgeous, you know. It does apply smooth on the face. And for the other side, I will use this Get Gorgeous highlighter from Technique. This is also a really, really gorgeous highlighter. It's really white and blinding, like a goddamn lighthouse. Really shiny for real. I mean, I look like goddamn Rudolph at the moment. I do believe I will use a mixture of this and that purpley one in this palette. You will just have to check my Instagram for the final look on New Year's. Yes, indeed. You can follow me right there if you want to. I have the same name everywhere. The Gasmo. Just search for me and you will find me. Yes, indeed. Well, you know, I'm starting to look ridiculous. So let's just continue on. I have two contouring powders that I want to use. The first one is this palette from Makeup Revolution, their iconic Lights and Contour Pro. I do not enjoy this fully because it has two warm shades for me, so this is a perfect summer palette, but now in the winter it just looks orange. But uh, I will try to go in and use this one is neutral and nice. It's a little bit pinkish in the undertone, I do believe, but uh, we are gonna apply that on this side, you know. And this Contouring palette is really pigmented. I mean, it's pigmented to the gods and really, you know, it's not a beginner contouring palette because it has a huge color payoff. And if you apply too much, you will goddamn ruin your face. I mean, if I had applied 
this much on the actual night I would have had to redo my makeup completely because now it looks like I have a golden bruise on my forehead. Really dirty. It looks like I have a really really bad self tanning situation going on. This I look like a f***ed up drag queen at the moment. Horrendous, for real. Let's go in with these compact powders from Cien. This is in the shade medium. It's really dark for a medium. It's also a really, really nice neutral undertone. And I usually use this as contour in my ordinary makeup routine. Because this gives you a perfect amount of color, you know. So it looks like you have your ordinary shadows back in your face after applying foundation. I mean, this contour looks a hell of a lot more natural than that side. You know, while I do enjoy this overly makeup face, I do believe I would go with this little powder right there. Now, it's time for the last steps, you know, and that is actually finishing powders. And I do have a few finishing powders. I talked about the CN Compact Powders, which are the only finishing powders I use. I could probably use baby powder all over my face. But uh, I will not do that. I will use this CN Compact Powder in the color light. And I will gently press this all over my face, you know, to veil everything, you know, so it will look more melted together. And this will give you that flawless airbrushed look. You know, I'm starting to fall in love with this eye more and more if I just switch up that under color. I mean, a dark sparkly bluish New Year's eye or this really sultry I do believe I like this eye a lot better but I should tone that goddamn wing down otherwise everybody will just beat me up on New Year's and I do not want that you know to round this video up I have actually decided that I should go with a variation on this eye actually you know this dark kind of bluish grayish stormy affair that is going on on this eye so I will actually go with that and for my foundation, I will actually go with this WV7 HD 12 hour wear foundation because it actually lays better on the skin than I almost had an accident in my pants and all over my room because the dripper were not on. This is very dry, this is very light for me. I will look like a goddamn ghost at the end of the evening. This is already separating around my nose, so it will be this one. For concealer, I will use these little guys right here. The C6 color from the concealer Define from Makeup Revolution and the Instant Age Erasing Concealer from Maybelline in the color 00 Ivory. Yes, indeed. And for my baking powders, I will actually use a mixture, mixture of these two. The baby powder and the banana powder. And for contour, I will not use this really, really dark contour. I do believe I want to go with this more natural, kinda shaded look with this compact powder. Yes, indeed. I might want to add in some bronzer, maybe. And I don't know what bronzer I am gonna use, at least. Because I always use that bronzer. It's the only bronzer I own at the moment. And it's this skinny dip. Fake bronzer, yes indeed, it's called Sun Kiss. I do not know if that is the real name or not, but it's a really, really, really lovely, lovely, lovely bronzer. It's like the holy grail of bronzers for me. I have tried a lot of different bronzers. I had a lot of used makeup I used when I started doing makeup. This one is just right, you know, it warms up the face without looking too dirty. I completely lost track of where I were because my camera died. It interrupted me. Rudely enough. And for highlighter, I will actually use a mixture of this one and Get Gorgeous from Technique. This really, really white. I don't think you can see as much in this very, very bright light. So let me just dim this down a little bit. <laughs> but you can see the highlighting action going on on my face in this light. Now let's just take it to maximum. Yes, it is. So, my darlings, this for this New Year's video, I have played with some makeup, I have, you know, coordinated my makeup products for New Year, so I can just grab them, put my face on, and then I'm done with it. Yes, indeed, because I will have a very limited time period to get myself in order before the New Year's party. Yes, indeed. So, my darlings, thank you so much for watching this video with me. Thank you so much for watching this video of me, I mean, and I do hope... Hope? I do hope you enjoyed it thoroughly, yes indeed. And please don't forget to comment down below how you will spend your New Year's and if you are watching this after New Year's, please tell me how you spent it. 
yes indeed and of course i wish you all a very very happy new year and i hope you are having a great evening and that your makeup doesn't look too terrible and that you will have a lot of fun no matter what you are doing might it be work might it be a party might it be a dinner might it be a chill evening home alone eating chips and deep drinking coca-cola i hope you are enjoying yourself to the goods yes indeed and please don't forget to press that like, subscribe and notification icon so you don't miss next year's videos which we are gonna start off with a haul week. However, the important notice before we go, I will take a week off in January. The first week of January will be my resting week, I will just lay down, film, you know, edit some stuff, you know, but I will not stress with getting it out that particular week, so haul week will start the second week of January. And as always, be who you are, since no one else can, and I see you next year. Bye!